Now let's create a login screen. When you see the practical file which I have given, you can see on the left side there is a preview screen and on the right side you will be having a practice space. And then here you will be having some assets which you are actually using this. Now let's create login screen. So to create this login screen, I need to create a wireframe on the screen. Let's do that. Let's create a frame size. Now I'm going to choose iPhone 8 by clicking on this and here I'm just clicking on it I have choose this iPhone 8 frame size and then its width should be 375 and its height should be 667 now I need to create wireframe of the screen let's do that first of all I want to take a rectangle now I need to change its size I'm going to take 16 pixel margin from the left side and 16 pixel margin from the right side then the rectangle width should be 343 width and height should be 48 pixel as of now just follow the steps like in the future sessions we'll discuss why this i'm using this 343 width here and what is the margin width here and what are the details what is the height of this rectangle etc so basically just follow the steps right now so as of now i have created this rectangle here now i need to add this email name which is using email and I'm using San Francisco font and I'm just using this rectangle and its size should be 17 and I want to add this here now I need to create this password so to create this password what I'll do is I just copy this just like this I'm just clicking on this frame and just dragging this just like this and use option or alt and you can see a copied mouse here just click on hold this option or alt and just using the shift key just like this so this is how i can drag it okay and here i want to change to password now as you can see in this preview there is a curve here so we need to create the curve for this rectangle which is on an average I'm just going to take just like 6 here and you'll get a rounded corners now I want to create it this as the center just like this okay and now I would like to add a forget password text and its font size should be 15 that's more than enough for me right now and adding it just like on the left side now I would like to create this login button so to create this login button I'm just clicking on this itself every time I won't need to create the same button again and again so that was the reason I'm just reusing the same rectangles again and again to create this login button so here I'm just dragging this just like this and just clicking on option or alt and just drag it just like this now I have this login button now I need to change this text a little bit just clicking on it and just changing the text name and here I want to change it to the semi bold now what I'll do is I will just make this to center just clicking on this alignment to center that's it now exactly what is this the wireframe which we got already got it right now I need to create this not yet a member sign up so to create this I'm just clicking on this T for text field and just not yet a, a member sign up I'm just changing the hierarchy of this to rectangle because we need to highlight that login or sign up and a little bit very less details to this not a member yet so I'm just aligning it to the center again click on shift you will be seeing these guidelines so that will be very helpful while creating any type of designs in Figma. And then I am going to add this or sign up with. Okay. And to create that or with. And changing it to here and this to 30. Because there is a less scope of this visibility. So I am just changing the font size a bit different than existing. And now here for this 
will have some assets i will add this assets also so before that i need to create here just like this so as of now i'm just going with the rough details which is is book here and here comes google okay and yeah almost uh, everything we got hit and we want to add here a login to your account now we got everything which is the center and now i'm changing this just like clicking on this bottom and changing its height to something 36 that's more than enough for me and adding it to the aligning it to center yeah just like this so as you can see here we got exactly the basic wireframe for preview and now i would like to add this logo and color combinations just like this okay to create all these things while adding the details like this google icon and facebook icon then here the logo and the background images everything i'll do step by step process so first of all i would like to add this rectangle here so to add it i'm just creating a rectangle which is 48 to 48 48 rectangle so that's more than enough for me and aligning it to center and changing it to something on the 14 this is more than enough I guess so we got the uh, the basic wireframe here and now I am adding every single details from here to here so first of all I'll go with this uh, logo I'm just copying it and just pasting the logo here here just like this and changing its width to basic width which is 24 and aligning it to center just like this so basically I have aligned this logo here now as you can see here the preview is the final version and the practice is our basic wireframe which we want to create and now i'm going to add a single detail of this background and this career bar here so first of all let's add the background so i'm just changing the details and just copying pasting it here so as you can see here we need to change its height and width I'm going to change its width to 375 and height 667 and just aligning it to the center right now it's in the center on the top layer so this is these are the layers which we have to work on okay so here is on the top layer and now I want to take this layer and I want to just drag it to the bottom yeah now it becomes the background of my login now I need to add some details here like changing the color from this to this so to add a specific color in this i'm just uh, clicking on this image and here as you can see here there is fill option i'm just clicking on this plus then you will be adding some details here so i'm just going here i'm just changing this color to something bluish color just like this and now i'm just changing this to 80 percent and just changing it to multiply just like this so here you can see there is completely a drastic change here so to make it in a proper way what i'll do is i'm just adding a linear rectangle so because the background should be something similar to dark so i just need to add a linear rectangle which is 375 width i'm just pasting it here and here i'm just adding everything to the background itself just aligning to down just like this or you can check this rectangle on the top just like this okay and now i'm going to change this color to something linear color and changing these details just like this black color uh, I got a basic version this one should be the darkest color for the entire screen so i'm just changing this should be 60 percent is more than enough i guess i'm not sure so we'll see we'll see we will add one more gradient on the top so we'll have the same view of this practice also so to create that i'm just clicking on this rectangle again and just adding the rectangle here just like this 
I'm changing the details and which should be 375 and height should be 667 and adding this rectangle on the just top of this rectangle which we have created as a linear and change its color to 0 which is completely dark and just 20% is more than enough which I got. So as you can see on the left side we got the same type of background which we are needed in this also. Now let's change one by one color fields, text fields and rectangles. So we'll get exactly same details just like this. So first of all, I'm just sharing this login details and then here also login. I'm just changing the color and here I'm just changing these two colors for black as of now and changing it to 60%. So this is how it actually looks. And then I would like to change this text field which is email and password to white color and then it should be on an average of 60 then I would like to change this color which is white and it's also average like 60 and then here I would like to change this login color to complete white and then we'll be having here this would be white color and I don't want this to be more focused so I'm just going with this to 60 or 50 that's up to you and then here I'm going to change this color to complete white which is F. I want to showcase this as a glass morphism style so to make it I'm just going with the white color and decreasing its actual color just like this and changing the text color to white that's it. So we almost got the same type of preview which we want to create. Let's add a little bit details like icons and this top nav bar. So to add this I'm just copying this navigation bar from here and just pasting this navigation bar in this practice file and aligning it to the center and top. Then I would like to add this i icon on my password session just like this. I'm just pasting it just like this and changing its fill to on an average like 40 is more than enough that's what I thought and then here the same thing as I told you before this width height should be 24 into 24 pixel I'm just taking this both Google and Facebook details and just adding it here just like this so here I, I would like to add a line here just like this which is a 48 pixel height and basically it should be a white color and I would like to add this in the center of this rectangle. Now I would like to add this Facebook icon here and Google icon here. That's it. We almost done with this entire details. Now for the sake I'm just changing this just like this and here also I'm going to change. Now we got the exact preview as similar as this practice. So I suggest you to go with the same type of design which you have to create to make Excel this entire details and all these things. So let's take a view of the preview how it actually looks and just clicking on display. It will show you the login screen which is on the actual device looks like. 